So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome to our BFG Peer to Speak of Day 183. And if you're into this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that you can learn, maintain and grow a streak together. Today's question also written in a medium category, but, and, but it is an easy question. If we have uh, done this question in this stack, when you have uh, learned this data structure, data structure stack, you must have encountered a question of nearest, smallest distance or the greatest, smallest distance according to a particular index, right? So if you have done that question, then it's very simple, right? If not, let's do it. So given an array where each element array of i represents the height of the tower, for find find for each other the nearest possible tower that is the shorten. Here, here there are two if statements given that if the smallest towers are at the same distance, suppose for a particular distance i, in the left and right, both are present at the same distance, then you have to pick the smallest tower. And if the two towers are the same height as well, then you need to choose the smaller index. Got it. Let us do a drawing for this second example so that we can clearly understand what this question is saying and then we can proceed with the brute force and the optimized solution. Okay. So uh, we have been given an array entries as 4, 8, 3, 5, 3. What you need to do is that for this particular point, let's make a left entry. So you need to go in the left for each and every index. So index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for 0, then there is no left, uh, there is no left uh, towers present. So let us mark it as minus 1. If you go to the right from 0 to next to find the nearest uh, smaller tower than 4 then you can clearly see then the smaller value uh, of 4 and the nearest in the right is 3 right so mention that index here so it would be 2 similarly for 8 you can see yeah so you will mention 2 in the right let's say right array and then similarly in the 8 you can see that the nearest in the left is at the 0th index the nearest in the right is at second index Similarly for 3, the nearest in the left is not possible because all the values are greater than 3. So let's mark it as again as minus 1. And the, uh, what to say, in the right hand side you can also see that there is no lesser elements. The 3, they, there you can have 3 but that equals, right. So you need, you need the lesser uh, values less than 3. So there is no possible element present. So let us mark it as again as minus 1. Similarly for 5, you can mark this index as 2. And in the right you can mark this index as 4. Similarly for 3 again it will be minus 1 and minus 1, right. And now you need to return that uh, among which the uh, it's uh, uh, which one is the smaller one, right? And if the if they are present at both at the same distance, then you need to mention the uh, smallest index height. Okay. So here we can see that we have for this zeroth index there is no tower present in the left, right? So we have only one tower left, which is at index two, which is in the right. So clearly, this is the final answer. It will be two, right? Similarly, for eight, you can clearly see. You can minus this distance, right? You can compare it 0 minus 1 and 2 minus 1, right? The tower present at the left with the current tower in uh, distance, the tower present at the right with the current tower distance. So, what you will and uh, whatever value is the whatever value is smaller, you will take that value. So, it is if you take the ABS value, it would be 1, 2 minus 1, it would be 1, right? So, now since both the towers are present at the one distance. So what you need to do, you need to take the lower height, right? So zeroth index pe hamare pas zeroth index pe hamara tower ka value of four, and the second index I have the tower value as three. So this is the smaller, right? So that is why I will take the second index, right? Okay, I hope you're getting the point. If both is equals to minus one, then there is no towers present in the left and right which is smaller than the current tower. So again, it would be minus one. For two and four, you can have to current again compare the distance. So it is three minus two, and it would be four minus three. Right, you take the ABS value, so it would be 1 and it would be 1. So both the towers in the left and right are present at the same distance. Now you have to compare the um, uh, tower values, tower height values. So in at index 2, the tower height is 3. And at index 4, the tower height is also 3, right? So if both the tower height are also same, then you have to take the left one, right? Then you have to take the, if height is also equal, if height is equal, then take the left one take and left right this is what mentioned this is what mentioned in the question right so you can clearly read that if clause mm, if the two towers are the same height then we choose the smaller index right and the smaller index eventually will be present in the left hand side so left hand side the index is 2 again the two the two the two answer will prevail here for the minus one minus one you will definitely do the minus one right what would be the brute force technique the brute force technique is that for each an index i you traverse in the left and you traverse in the right and you store this in the left array and then you store this in the right array right and uh, you have to make some this if if clauses right that uh, after finding the if uh, the left and right you have to compare that if abs of let's say left minus i 
is let's say what uh, greater than or less than right radius of let's say r minus i right so if we know which tower is closer right and we check it from equals to if abs of l minus i is equals to abs of r minus i and we know that if the tower are present at uh, the equal distance then we have to again check let's make a result at uh, we know that if the tower are present at the equal distance then we have to again check let's make a result array and i will store this here i will check again that now uh, from my array array of this is the index right l minus i and r minus i so i will check what i will check i will check ki agar let's say if array of left jo hai wo greater than array of right ho jaye so i will i will i can use an inner left here and i can clearly see that i need to i need the smaller one so array right or else array left right this would work yep this would work and since i don't want the uh, tower values i want i just want the index right so i will say r or l that would be my first tip then i can use this else statement that if it is uh, less than itna uh, the right hand side the left hand side tower is present uh, nearest right then i can clearly appoint it as rs uh, result of i is equals to left right and in the else cases now we have seen that uh, uh, we have handled that the left was present nearest to the tower so in the else case it would be result of i is equals to right that is it that is it and this would all be this would all this all comparison would be happening this all comparison would be happening if and if only the what left is not equals to minus 1 and and right is not equals to minus 1 right right is not equals to minus 1 right? yeah and in the else if you can handle it now that if if uh, let's say that uh, what uh, left is equals to minus 1 right left is is equals equals to minus 1 then we can clearly appoint our answer that result of i is nothing but right right and this would be an else if case so this would be our global steps right this would be by first if then this else if and all will be the nested and this would be second else else if and then at the last in the else i will check that if right is equals equals to minus one then result of i is equals to left right so i have given you the entire pseudo code or you can say i have given you the entire code please pause this video here to run the two for loops the nested for loops make this two array and then substitute the values and try to uh, do this all the if statements and you will be good to go okay please pause this video here uh, the code may be may be lengthy or not lengthy like uh, may be requiring more number of lines to write but then logic is very simple right um, please uh, go ahead with this solution uh, take your two three minutes to code it and then we'll move ahead with the optimized one and also what would be the time complexity of this solution time complexity will be since we are using we'll be using two nested for loop right to traverse left and right so it would be o of n square and according to the constraint given here the uh, n is pointing to 10 power 5 right so n square will give you as give you the time complexity of 10 power which is definitely greater than 10 power 8 so even if our code and logic is right it will definitely give the theory let us code this approach from the brute force and then we will go ahead so as you can clearly see we have coded the brute force approach let me give you a code walkthrough that's the for first for loop to store the entries in the left array that's the second for loop to store the entries in the right array and then we are checking for each and every that uh, the same if and if that if left and right is not equal to minus one then you have to do the comparison that if the tower if the tower uh, in the right and left are both at the same distance then you have to take the lower right of the tower right using this inline if and if if not if the tower are not at the same distance then we have to take the nearest tower and yes and this would be and this would be the else case uh, key right the right tower was present the nearest then would then, then the else if case would be that uh, your left and right are both in one of the entries uh, let's say equals equals to minus one right so if that's the case that if left is equals to minus one that means that no smaller tower is present in the left hand side of the current index right so only possible tower you can take it from right that's what is happening here right if left is not equals to one then you have to take left or if right is not equals to one you have to take right at right, last return the answer right that is it let us hit the submit button and we will verify that uh, for how many test cases the TLE comes it will surely come let us verify that and then move on with the optimized one right okay let us wait for a couple more seconds So as you can clearly see, uh, out of one one two zero one one three cases passed for the seven test seven test cases, it got the TLE for which it it hit, it hit the upper bound of ten power eight. So again, please pause this video here, and if you have done this question of nearest 
uh, smallest integer for a particular index this question is very simple for you and if not i will show you how come okay i hope you have tried and able to do it if not uh, that's not an issue right so what are we going to do is that we need to eliminate the repeated steps right so for that we will use a stack here so we will use a stack uh, so the elements were 48353 right so we have a stack here and we will push the first element so it is 48353 we will make a left stack and then we will make a right stack right so i will tell you the filling that how a uh, left stack is filled similarly you can uh, for i equals to 0 to i less than n, we have to move similarly for right filling you just have to move from i equals to n minus 1 to i greater than equals to 0 right the logic will remain intact the same okay so for i equals to 0 what will happen is that your first index will be pushed so since we are pushing the index so it's 0 and the resultant array right okay it's 0 and yes we will make also a result array right which will uh, initially will fill with fill it with minus 1 so let us fill it with it's minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. Right. So this is a resultant array. Okay. So initially the zeroth index will be put and the corresponding element is four. Now the next element will come that is eight. It will check that if the peak element, if the peak element, the peak element is greater than my current element or not. Right. Because we need to find the lower, lower, lower index. So if that's the case, then you need to pop it out. Right. So the 8 comes and you can see that if the peak element is greater than our, my current element not, it, it is not, right? So that means our, uh, uh, this is the best case, he, we just found our uh, lower tower in the left hand side, right? So what we'll do, we will update this 0th index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, we will update the first index with the peak index, right? In this stack, so it will be updated with 0, right? Okay, and this element would be pushed. So now the stack will have the one which is corresponding to it. Now for i equals to two, the element three will come and you can clearly see that the peak element itself is greater than three, but we want the lower elements in the left, right? So what we will do, we will pop it out. We'll pop out this current element. We'll pop out this, this element also because it is still greater than three, right? And now the array is empty. So that means there is nothing present in the left hand side that is smaller than this, uh, this three, right? So that means it will again be minus one. So nothing will be updated and we'll move ahead. So we will move ahead and this three will be pushed now. So now this three will be pushed and the index was nothing but two, which corresponds to three. Okay. Now for i equals to three, it will happen. For i equals to three, the element five will come here and you can clearly see that the peak element is itself less than the current element. So nothing, the, the peak, the, uh, the top, the peak index will be updated. So it will be two, right? And it will be pushed again. So the third index will be pushed, and which is corresponding to the element five, right? Now the last last index that is the fourth index, but the element corresponding to which is three. But you can clearly see the peak element is five, which is greater than three. So you need to pop it out. So what will happen? This will pop out, and then this will also pop out because it is also not equals to my, uh, not less than my current element. Now you can clearly see the stack is empty so again it will not be updated anything and at last this will be pushed again uh, this fourth index will be pushed again so at last our this stack will just have one entry for less than three four which is corresponding to three what would be the pseudo code for this thing is i'll show you one pseudo code for the rest of the thing you have to write it yourself okay so what i can i can run a for loop for let's say for i equals to zero for i less than n i plus plus right and I can check, I can check that while my left is not empty. I can call the is empty function using exclamation mark and an array of left, right? Array of left dot p. Left is nothing but the stack name. If it is greater than equals to array of i, then you need to pop it out. So pop use the pop function and if not and, and then again if the if that's not the case that you keep on popping it but again you have still some uh, what uh, uh, elements indexes left in this tag so that means you have reached your condition and you need to update your answer so result of i is nothing but the left dot p right you have got your answer and at the last we just to need the index that you just processing for you need to push that you need to push this index right so that would be the pseudocode 
right and this your result array will be updated as this thing minus 1 0 minus 1 2 and minus 1 right similarly you have to do the same pseudocode but the only difference would be that you have to start it from i equals to n minus 1 so i greater than equals to 0 i minus minus right and for each and every value you are getting you will be comparing with the values present in the result of i the same if else statement that you did in the brute force right please pause this video try to code this yourself and then we will move ahead and what would be the time complexity of this code will be that you will be using first for loop and then we'll be using another for loop in parallel so it would be o of n in overall and the space complexity will be that you are using two stacks so two n plus you are using a resultant array for n so it will be o of three n right but since the constraint is 10 power 5 which is less than 10 power 8 so this solution will definitely get submitted right please pause the video and try to code it yourself okay so that's the pseudo code we have made the two stack left and right and the resultant array where the left values are stored right okay so the first of all we are, we are marking the result as minus one then we have used the same pseudo code i showed you to uh, to update my result array uh, result array uh, will be updated uh, in line number 56 by the lower the smaller tower present in the left for each and every index right then we have to use another stack to calculate the same thing for the right right hand side we are going from n minus 1 to greater than equals to 0 the same the same pseudo code that we did for the left right and then it's just that now we will not update the direct result value but we will compare everything right so this that's the same if you can see if left left not empty then we were doing some things right right but here if the right is not empty then we will direct compare with all the ifs to get our final answer so we are checking if the result of i if the left value is not equal to minus one then definitely you have to compare that if the distance is equal and take the lower right and here the right dot peak is our answer right similarly the left dot peak is answer while using this uh, while updating the left arrays uh, while, you, uh, while updating the left smaller tower so here we will use the right dot peak minus i again the same if statement that we're running the brute force technique the distance are equal take the lower height we are assigning the lower height to the result of i and if not then take you have to take the nearest tower right and that goes for uh, right dot peak and if second else would be that if resultant if result of i that is the left that is if result of i is equal to minus one this implies that no smaller tower is present in the left in that case you do not have to do any comparison just put this smaller tower present in the right that which we are getting from right dot p and at last right dot push dot i the same that we did for left dot push dot i right that's it let's hit the compile button and we will see for ourselves so you can clearly see the input test cases have been passed successfully and we have we have already discussed the time states o of n and the space home is o of 3 and so let us hit the submit button and then we can verify it So great, so great, all the test cases have been passed successfully. Let me show you the C++ code as well, what uh, the changes need to be done. I will also give you this in the description, but yes, let me give you a code overview. So that's how the C++ code will react. Uh, you just have to maintain, uh, change some syntaxes, that is the stack is just declared like this. And the same for loop for the filling the left hand side, the same for loop starting from minus one to greater than zero for filling the right hand side. And those are the same if statement. And at last you have to just return the result, right? I'm not hitting the submit button for this because it will now update in my DSA repository also. I mentioned my DSA repository link in my link description. You can just use control plus plus F to search for the Java codes. For the C plus code, I will give you a, another link. Till then, keep learning, keep going, bye-bye, and take care. Let us meet tomorrow in the uh, tomorrow's week of day 184. And again, if you are new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe so that again I, I can make this video again for you guys with full energy and patience. Okay, bye-bye, keep learning, keep growing.